Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us today as we kick off part one of our co-pilot webinar series. My name is Chris Karen, and I'm the director of Microsoft Alliance here at Connection. Joining me today, we have Courtney Freed, our partner technical specialist at Microsoft, as well as Jonathan Cantella, our co-pilot business development specialist here at Connection. To kick things off, we're going to go through a quick review of our webinar series agenda. Today, we're going to be discussing Copilot for M365, what it is and the benefits of AI in the workplace. Additionally, we're going to talk about how Connection and Microsoft can help you as you embark on your AI journey. On October 8th, we'll jump into part two of the series titled The Art of the Possible, where we're going to get into the specifics of how Connection's Copilot workshop can help guide you through what Copilot for M365 can do for you. On October 15th, we'll jump into our roadmap for readiness and discuss the technical readiness assessment that Connection offers that can really dive into some of the details to get you further along in that AI journey. We'll wrap things up on October 22nd, tying it all together and identifying the prioritized action plans that you can all take to embark on your AI journey. With that, I'm gonna pass it over to John Cantella to kick us off. John, over to you. All right, thanks, Chris. Yeah, Jonathan Cantella, everybody, uh, the Copilot Business Development Specialist here at Connection. And to kick things off with my slides, I want to take a look at the versions of Copilot you are hearing about today and possibly using. So from left to right, we have Windows Copilot. This being the version you most likely already have if you're using Windows 11. It's currently free to use in its preview version and basically an AI powered Bing or Google search engine built into your PC. It's a great entry level tool to AI that mainly delivers web-based results to your prompt. Then there's Copilot for M365, what we'll be focusing on during this webinar. AI directly integrated with your Microsoft 365 applications like Teams, Word, Outlook, Excel, that enables you and your end users to reduce day-to-day -day tasks through automation, allowing you to focus on big picture things like growing your business. In short, making your M365 apps work for you, but we'll come back to this. Then we have Copilot for Security, Microsoft's newest Copilot offering. Copilot for Security offers advanced AI-driven capabilities to enhance your organization's cybersecurity posture. It leverages machine learning to identify threats, automate responses, and ensure continuous protection across your digital environment. This cutting-edge tool is designed to simplify complex security tasks, allowing your team to focus on strategic initiatives. And then lastly, we have Copilot Plus PC, a new class of Windows 11 AI PCs with a turbocharged MPU for an unmatched experience with lightning speed and smooth performance. Copilot Plus PCs bring intelligent edge computing to your desktop experience and is ideal for those end users heavily involved in AI throughout their day to day. Now, as I mentioned on the last slide, Copilot for Microsoft 365 is an AI assistant that changes the way people are working with their Microsoft 365 apps. You can simply enter a request into Copilot with natural language, just like you're talking to a real person. Then Copilot will process your request and output your desired results. Now, how does it accomplish this? Well, Copilot is based on a combination of components that include large language models, Microsoft Graph, which is how Copilot interacts with your business data, Microsoft 365 apps, of course, and also content from the web as needed. And I know what you're thinking, well, this sounds great, but I'm not sure on the whole my data part. And to put you to ease, with Microsoft Cloud, you have AI that you can trust. Your data is your data. Your data is not used to train the OpenAI Foundation models without permission, and your data is protected by the most comprehensive enterprise compliance and security controls. Now, how does this all translate to transforming work? Well, as you can see some stats on the screen here, 60% of leaders say a lack of innovation and breakthrough ideas is a concern. 64% of people have struggled with finding time and energy to get their work done, and 70% of people indicated they would delegate as much as possible to AI to lessen their workloads. And how does Copilot come into play here? Well, 68% said Copilot improved the quality of their work. 70% said Copilot made them more productive. And 77% said they didn't want to give Copilot up. I know I don't want to. 
So the real main idea here is that employees know they have too much to do and they're spending too much time on mundane tasks and focusing on the tools as opposed to their work. And that's keeping them from spending time on their actual jobs, innovating, et cetera. They're ready to offload what they can to AI tools, which again is exactly where Copilot from Microsoft 365 comes in. Before I move on to the next slide, Courtney, is there anything you'd like to add here? Yeah, great points, Jonathan. This is the true power of Copilot for M365 to transform your organization into an AI-powered business with every employee excelling in the role and contributing to the success of the entire organization. And I want to double down on the findings you see here from our latest Work Trend Index survey, where we found that people need to read four emails for every one they send, and Teams meetings have increased three times since 2020. But the good news is, is that Copilot users feel their quality of work has improved and helps them complete tasks faster, spend less time on repetitive tasks, and be more productive, all which have material benefits to employee well-being and your business. Awesome. And now let's take a look at uh, some use cases throughout each, you know, Copilot and Teams, Word, Excel, and the other Microsoft 365 apps. So starting on this use case where we highlight customer service with Copilot in Teams, where you're able to stay coordinated as a team to resolve more customer issues. So with Copilot and Teams, stay organized and on top of all your chats, meetings, and calls. This is something that I use on a day-to-day basis. When I'm in a Teams meeting, whether it's with a customer or with somebody on my sales team, it's much easier for me to focus on the topic at hand, knowing that Copilot is taking those notes for me. And then at the end of the call, I can ask Copilot to summarize those meeting notes and provide me a direct action list of what I need to do to solve what we discussed on the call. Anything you'd like to add, Courtney, on how you are utilizing Copilot in Teams? Yeah, even if you're not in a customer service role, um, I think you can benefit. Uh, Copilot in Teams has to be hands down my favorite way to use Copilot helping me prep for meetings and get more value out of the time that I spend in them. Um, We talked early about uh, employees finding it difficult to find the time and energy to do their best work, especially with those days of back-to-back meetings. If I join a Teams meeting a few minutes late, all I have to do is open up Copilot in Teams, click catch up on the meeting, and there I have exactly the main points covered and who said them. And then afterwards, I can have Copilot turn those meeting notes and action items into a follow-up email summarizing what was discussed during the meeting, complete with steps Copilot captured as well. So I like to say it's like your behind the scenes personal assistant, helping you have more effective and efficient meetings. Definitely one of my favorite assistants. And then uh, taking a look at Copilot Excel. So a use case that we have here is for finance. We're gonna help simplify financial reporting and validating data quality. So with Copilot and Excel, you can analyze, comprehend and visualize data with ease. I know when it comes to Excel, that's definitely an area that I can improve on understanding when it comes to making certain formulas or generating a pivot table. It's not something I'm the best at. And with Copilot, just having that AI assistant that I can click on to and ask for help at generating those formula columns or making that pivot table for me is a huge asset to my day to day. And then taking a look at a use case within marketing with Copilot and Word, where you can jumpstart the creative process and generate ideas while writing. To give you an idea on how I use this, Um, A lot of things that I start off with on the creative side just involves me staring at a blank screen for a little bit of time, trying to figure out how do I start whatever it is I'm trying to make. And with Copilot and Word, it's easily making that a little bit more of a uh, a simplified task for me as I can just give Copilot the general idea of what I'm trying to say or what I'm trying to start with uh, on my Word document. And it will generate some paragraphs or sentences for me to go in, edit and personalize to fit my needs. So there's a great opportunity for me to utilize Copilot and Word. And then with Copilot and Outlook, this is a big one. So I'm going to hand it over to you, Courtney, because I know everybody's using Outlook uh, nowadays. Uh, Could you give us some ideas on how you're utilizing Copilot and Outlook? Yeah, we're seeing that one of the most common use cases for Copilot from 365 is for sales roles. Um, An example of how I've used Copilot and Outlook, if I'm added to an email thread that's been going on for a while, Um, and I don't have time to read the entire thread, I can quickly get caught up on the main points. And then Copilot can review emails I'm drafting and provide suggestions for tone and clarity. And I also love that you can ask Copilot with a prompt to help you schedule a meeting. And it'll guide you through the scheduling process, understanding your request for meeting titles. And because it has access to the Microsoft Graph data, it can suggest relevant people and files. And Copilot can even suggest a draft agenda and do this all in a few clicks. So it's definitely saved for me a lot of time and made me more productive. 
Yeah, and to summarize, there really is a fit for Copilot for Microsoft 365 for almost any type of end user in your environment, enabling the M365 platform to work for and with them, serving three main purposes. Unleash creativity, where you can harness Copilot's powers so that you never have to start from scratch. Unlock productivity, where you can let Copilot summarize actions for you and give you shortcuts to optimize your time, much like how Courtney just gave us some examples in Outlook. And then up-level skills, like in Excel, where you can be better at what you're good at and master what you've yet to learn. And then going into my final slide for you here today with Connections Copilot workshops and services to assist you with your AI journey. I know we're gonna have conversations on these in our later sessions of the webinar, but I just wanted to give you a quick overview. Whether you have Copilot licenses already purchased and deployed, or you're looking to acquire some in the near future, wherever that may be in your path to harnessing AI with Copilot, our connection-led workshop can help you grow your understanding of AI and guide you in harnessing the potential within your organization. Our experts will provide a review of your current technology to determine any gaps or needs before you purchase Copilot. Connection will also advise you on how to modernize your data so Copilot can be used to discover and effectively utilize your information in a safe and secure environment. And our workshop will equip you with a better understanding of your ROI and how Copilot can increase your organization's productivity. And then of course, beyond our workshop and assessment, we offer a catalog of services tailored to your exact needs through our professional services. So again, no matter where you are in your path to AI and how much you'd like connection to lift off of your team soldier, we have you covered. And with that, Chris, I will pass it back to you to close us off. John and Courtney, thank you both so much for taking us through that valuable information. And to all of you, we would like to extend our thanks to each of you for joining us for part one of our co-pilot webinar series. Your time and attention are truly appreciated. Our objective today was to introduce you to Copilot and demonstrate how Connection and Microsoft can provide valuable guidance as you embark on your AI journey. We hope you found the session informative and insightful. We look forward to your continued participation in the upcoming sessions of this series. Our next session will be on October 8th, titled The Art of the Possible. If you're interested in having a deeper conversation with us, please reach out to your Connection account manager. If you aren't currently working with us at Connection today, please re reach out to John and he'll be happy to get you connected. Together, we can explore the vast potential of AI and drive innovation forward. Thank you once again for your time and support.